in the bike crank exercises, some people have had trouble viewing the mesh skewness distribution. I'll show you how to overcome that and also show you various ways in which you can manipulate the skewness view. If I turn on the, um, the metric graph, okay, by default, you might see something like that. And this is easily solved because you can just drag this over here and you'll see this better. And in this view, you can, um, you know, you might have trouble selecting the elements that have uh, low skewness, and especially as you go to more and more elements. By the way, your, your mesh might look a little bit different because I've changed the settings. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, and I can go into controls here. So let me just click on the background here to get all elements. I'll go under controls and let's say I want to look only at elements that have a skewness over 0.4. And then if I reset that, they'll say, oh, okay, there are only 33 elements that have skewness or above 0.4. And if I go back here, you can see that now this is showing only elements over a skewness of 0.4. And then I can go in and select these bars. And you can see that the, the y-axis or the vertical axis, you know, that, that scaling has been reset. And I can also go into controls and change the number of bars. Let's say I, I change it to five, and then it becomes easier to select these different, you know, skewness distributions and so on. And I can go back to controls and just reset this uh, to get the default view. And let's say I will go back to the default of 10 bars. That way I'll, I'll go back to the default view. And as I mentioned before in another um, video, you you know, if your windows get garbled and so on, you can try going to view windows and reset layout to, to get the default.